Coding is an essential skill for any software developer. You may be familiar with Python, Java, or other popular programming languages. But have you ever tried coding in English? That's what Andre Karpathy, a leading computer scientist and the head of AI at Tesla, suggested in a recent tweet. He said, the hottest new programming language is English. Well, Karpathy is not a random guy. He has a YouTube channel where he posts lectures on large language models and artificial intelligence more generally, and has over 393k subscribers. But why did he say that English is the hottest new programming language? And what does it mean to code in English? Let's find out! This was a reference to the fact that LLMs, such as ChatGPT, are trained based on prompts written in plain English rather than computer code. For these tools, you only need to learn the English language to give them prompts. Through this language, you can easily accomplish any task you desire. Yes, any task! Imagine being able to create a website, an app, or a game by simply describing it in words. No need to learn complex syntax, debug errors, or deal with compatibility issues. Just tell the computer what you want and let it do the rest. Now let's suppose you want to write a poem. Just provide a prompt like, write a poem for me on AI, and the chat GPT will create an amazing poem for you. Or if you want to write code, simply give a prompt like, write a code for me that prints hello world in Python, and the AI tool will generate the code for you. You don't even need to be a programmer. All you need to learn is how to give chat GPT the right prompts. So does it mean learning coding isn't worth it? Now it is a very huge topic, and it might break the hearts of many programmers. You might have heard of GitHub, a website that hosts millions of code repositories. But did you know that 41% of GitHub code is AI generated? Well, that's what Imad Mostak, the CEO of Stability AI, claimed at the Abundance Summit last year. So an inevitable is 41% of all code on GitHub right now is AI generated. Wow. He also mentioned that ChatGPT passed a programmer exam in just six months. He also dropped a bombshell by stating that there will be no programmers within the next five years. There are no programmers in five years. No programmers in five years. You might think that this is just one person's opinion and that you don't need to worry about your career, but he is not the only one who thinks this way. The famous NVIDIA CEO, Jensen Huang, also shared his views on this matter when someone asked him in an interview. He said, Over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you, it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. The countries, the people that understand how to solve a domain problem in digital biology or in education of young people or in manufacturing or in farming, those people who understand domain expertise now can utilize technology that is readily available to you. You now have a computer that will do what you tell it to do. It is vital that we upskill everyone and the upskilling process, I, I believe, will be delightful. Surprising. So, one thing is clear. After some years, there will be fewer software jobs required compared to now. If we look back a decade ago, professions like software engineering used to be very prestigious and lucrative. Even this year, they still have some scope, but in three to four years, we will witness a significant impact of AI on these types of jobs. On a positive note, AI has the potential to increase the productivity of software engineers, enabling them to work faster than ever before. AI tools such as ChatGPT, DALI, Sora, and others can be incredibly helpful. It's essential to recognize that AI is not only a threat, but also an opportunity. According to a report by Goldman Sachs, AI could replace the equivalent of 300 million full-time jobs, but it could also create new jobs and a productivity boom. Moreover, AI could enhance human capabilities, enabling us to engage in more meaningful and fulfilling work. As Jan LeCun, a pioneer of AI, said, Our intelligence is what makes us human, and AI is an extension of that quality. Therefore, the key to adapting to the AI revolution is to embrace it rather than resist it. 
We need to develop our digital skills, as well as our soft skills, such as judgment, creativity, and emotional intelligence. And most importantly, we need to collaborate with AI, rather than compete with it, and leverage its power to augment our own. But the real question is, how? By learning prompt engineering, now. Prompt engineering is the art and science of crafting natural language inputs, or prompts, that guide AI models to generate specific and high-quality outputs, such as code, text, or images. It is a skill that anyone can learn and apply, regardless of their role or job. It can help you solve complex problems, create innovative solutions, and express your ideas more effectively. If you are a programmer, or as NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said, if you are a kid who wants to be a programmer, you should try a different approach. Instead of learning traditional programming languages, you should learn prompt engineering. Why? Because prompt engineering will help you harness the power of AI and create code faster, easier, and better. You will also be able to use AI for other tasks, such as writing, planning, learning, and more. By learning prompt engineering now, you will be ahead of the curve and become a pro in no time. Before, we mostly used ChatGPT for changing prompts, but now there are many other cool tools that make things even easier, like Code Llama, Emad Mastak Stability AI Tools, Bard, ChatGPT+, GitHub Copilot, and more. These tools do a bunch of different things. For example, Code Llama helps generate new code in smart ways. Stability AI's tools add special features to how we change prompts. Bard, ChatGPT+, and GitHub Copilot also help a lot. So it's not just about ChatGPT anymore. With these tools, we can be super creative and efficient when we're changing prompts. They make it possible to do things we couldn't do before, like making language models understand us better or creating complex pieces of code easily. For example, there's another amazing tool for prompt engineering through which you can do coding, and it's Gemini Advanced. It lets you run Python code without the hassle of copying and pasting it into Colab or your IDE. Plus, you can edit the code right there in Gemini's sandbox. So it's like a one-stop shop for running and tweaking your Python code, making things more convenient for you. So what do you think kids should learn coding in school or not? Would you choose programming as a profession, or do you think it's not worth it anymore? And what are your thoughts about prompt engineering? Share your insights in the comments below. Check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.